So this new product is actually called Kybella, which is a, a new product made by Kythera Biopharmaceuticals, which is the world's first FDA approved fat dissolving injection. So it's really considered to be first in class is what they call it, because no other product like it's ever been approved by the FDA. So primarily it's, in, it's uh, responsible for being injected into what we call the submental crease, which is basically that double chin that nobody likes and nobody wants. And uh, it helps dissolve the fat away over the span of several weeks, which is a permanent solution for treating this area. Well, I consider it a privilege and an honor actually to be the first plastic surgeon in New York to have this product. Um, basically, I was fortunate enough to be approached by the company themselves as they were trying to select a group of plastic surgeons and dermatologists around the country that they were going to trust to roll this product out. Uh, one of the main things that's super important is that it's exciting to know that we have an injection that can dissolve fat, but the, but the FDA has only given approval to have it injected in the submental area to treat, again, that double chin or that fullness in the neck. So what we didn't want to have happen is everyone gets a hold of the product, it starts injecting it everywhere to help dissolve fat. Other studies are going to come out to show the safety and the profile of the efficacy altogether on how well we can treat those areas, but for the time being we want to target just on what the FDA has given its approval for. Uh, so with that said, I was approached by the company to be one of the first doctors in the nation to have the product and um, fortunately enough will also be responsible for helping train other doctors in New York and New York City for that matter on how to safely use this product so we don't cause harm to our patients and give them the maximum benefit of uh, Kybella. So patient selection when we're involved in any type of surgical or in this case non-surgical cosmetic procedure is the most important thing. Who's a really good candidate for having this uh, procedure done or this injectable? So in this case, we're really looking for people that have mild to moderate amounts of what we call the submental fat or a little bit of that double chin. And people who aren't a good candidate are uh, people who have that double chin that's more of the turkey neck, the extra skin. So if there's a lot of loose hanging skin, this probably isn't something that's gonna work well in general for those individuals. Also, patients that have a history of a lot of uh, major bleeding problems, or if there's any active infection going on in that region, those patients also, for the most part, aren't gonna be good candidates or get a good result for having Kybella injected. So the active um, medication in Kybella is what we call deoxycholic acid. And in Kybella, it's a non-animal, non-human derived version of deoxycholic acid, which is naturally occurring in all of us. Anytime you eat a big meal or um, have increased fats in your diet, the body releases more deoxycholic acid to help break down and absorb that fat. So quite some time ago in Brazil, in Europe and other places, uh, pharmacists were compounding deoxycholic acid mixed with another substance to try to help break down fat. But what we saw was that injections of this material were not regulated. They didn't really have a good formulation of it down. And sometimes these pharmaceutical companies or rather these pharmacies themselves uh, ended up compounding it in increasing doses, less doses, so they weren't having a standardized efficacy. So really what Kybella has done is do the science, do the right outcome studies, measure what it is that's causing patients a problem versus not causing them a problem, and being able to standardize a sterile formulation of it. So it was really kind of a company or group effort at Kythera to bring this to us. So Kybella injections themselves usually take about 20 to 30 minutes uh, to have done uh, here in the office. They don't require anesthesia. They don't require going to the operating room. There's a little bit of tenderness associated with the injection and it peaks at about 15 minutes or so after the actual injection. Um, I like to numb my patients up right beforehand. So in general, my plan is going to be to have my patients come in a little bit early, take some ibuprofen or some Tylenol, and we'll put a little bit of numbing medication in the area before we go ahead and inject it. Uh, the downtime itself is patients can go back to work right away or the next day. There's gonna be a touch of redness or can be. Uh, some people perceive there to be some fullness or still a little bit of numbness in that area. And there can be some increased swelling associated with the procedure as well. So I'm not going to recommend it to my patients if they tell me they have a gala or an event that they need to be at tomorrow. We're not going to inject it the night before. But we can certainly give them a few days of leeway just like I would with one of my dermal fillers like Restylane or Juvederm. 
So um, that's, that's sort of what most of the patients experience after having it injected. I think it's going to have a huge impact altogether on the profession of aesthetic surgery and dermatology, uh, aesthetic medicine altogether. And I think the reason being that we're seeing more and more trends towards moving in a non-invasive manner. Um, a little bit over a decade ago, the only way to get rid of uh, brow lines or the glabellar lines or those worry lines that people have was with a major surgery. You pretty much had to have a brow lift. If you wanted to get rid of crow's feet out of the side of your eyes, you had to have the muscles around your eyes cut also and divided in order to decrease the, look, you know, the appearance of aging. And then, of course, Botox came along. The world has not been the same since then, of course. Uh, in 2002, it got its cosmetic indication by the FDA, and you've seen it become a billion dollar industry over the last several years. So the minimally invasive and non-invasive uh, ways of treating cosmetic problems is clearly something that everybody wants to be able to get involved with. And if you can spare yourself from having a surgery by having a small injection that takes 20 or 30 minutes on your lunch hour, I think people are going to move towards that instead.